about S-Beam and Android Beam, which is essentially, and you've probably seen this in a number of the Samsung Galaxy commercials, is the option where you can tap two phones together and transfer files between them. Um, the difference in name is purely because uh, Samsung uh, called theirs S-Beam and uses a different method of delivering the files, uh, larger files, and uh, stock Android uses Android Beam, which uh, again uses a different method to deliver its files. There's some incompatibility with the two, which I'll discuss, but for the most part, um, the base features uh, that I'm to show off uh, will work. Um, the key that some people might not know is that uh, NFC, which is the base of uh, how Beam uh, talks or communicates uh, with uh, the other phone, is turned off by default. So really the, the first step is just to have it on and once it's on, um, the feature works always. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S4, it's the newest one. The build is slightly different uh, than it is on the uh, Note 2, which is over here. Um, so I'll show you the differences, but if you go into settings, right in the connections tray, you're gonna see NFC and S-Beam. So these two, when they're on, will allow you to do that. Like I said, this is the Note 2. And what you have to do to activate uh, NFC and uh, S-Beam is uh, go to more settings and there's the option right there at the bottom. They're both activated in this case. And this is a stock Android. This is the Nexus S. If I scroll to more, or click, uh, tap more rather, there we go, NFC, and there's Android Beam. And uh, that is on as well. So cool, okay. Now I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna uh, demonstrate two uh, Samsung phones together because like I said, there are some differences. The key with S-Beam is because it uses Wi-Fi Direct as its uh, transfer protocol, um, it does allow for larger file transfers. Uh, in this case, I can actually send photos and videos between the two phones. Um, I, before this demonstration, took a quick phone of one of our Ting branded uh, chamois. There we go. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to send the file. All I do is I put the two phones back to back. Um, mind you that the NFC chips on these are located in different places, so even though you're kind of maybe gonna wanna hold them like this, that doesn't necessarily work. You kind of have to find the sweet spot. And you'll know that because one phone vibrates and makes a noise, so I'll just show you that again. Where was that? Right. There we go. And now it says uh, touch to beam, so if I click it and hold the two phones back, you're gonna see they create a connection and the, the, the file is gonna start transferring from my S4 to my Galaxy Note 2. So, there it goes. And now, this file has been transferred over. That's neat, and like I said, you can do video, which is awesome. Um, you can do a, a variety of things between these three phones, and uh, that includes, uh, uh, you can transfer contacts, um, you can transfer map coordination, or coordinates, rather. Um, you can do, and this is neat, uh, with uh, apps, so I have the Ting app on this phone, but I do not have the Ting app on this phone. So if I open the Ting app, touch the two together, and beam it, and now hopefully I have Wi-Fi, and yeah, see, it went right to the Ting app listing on the Google Play Store, so now I, because I don't have this app, can download it. Um, you can also do, and this is fairly convenient, this is the last thing I'll show, is you can show, uh, you can send websites. So in this case, I'm gonna just plain old Google, um, but you can send just about anything you want. So I'm just going to hold the two phones together. I'm gonna to tap to beam. And now this one will go onto Google as well. Yep, see, works. It's pretty simple, once they're on, um, like I said, there's a lot that uh, works between these two. Video and uh, pictures are the big two that will not send. Um, it's unfortunate, I don't know if that's gonna be changing in the future, but there it is. I've also tested this with the uh, HTC One, and uh, the features do work, but again, video and uh, pictures will not send between uh, S-Beam and uh, Android Beam phones, Android Beam phones, rather, so a little word of warning. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching our tutorial. If you'd like any more information on Ting, our services, and uh, some cool tips on how to use your Android phones, why don't you subscribe to our channel by clicking the uh, button in the uh, corner, and we'll see you next time, thanks.